हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नॉलेज गैलेक्सी टू रीडिस्कवर द बेसिक्स विथ मयंक तिवारी ए प्रीमियर कोचिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू मेटलर्जी स्टडीज एंड कंसल्टेंसी इस्टेब्लिश टू कैटर द नीड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स डिग्री डिप्लोमा एंड ए एम आई आई एम मेटलर्जी कंपिटिटिव एंड रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम्स फॉर गेट सेल एंड वेरियस अदर गवर्नमेंट एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर कंपनीज मेटलॉजिकल इंडस्ट्रीज वर्किंग एंड एस्पायरिंग प्रोफेशनल्स एंड हु सो एवर सीकिंग नॉलेज एंड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट वेरियस सब्जेक्ट एंड टॉपिक्स ऑफ मेटलॉजी फेरोलाइज ऑपरेशनल प्रोसेस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रोडक्टिविटी इंप्रूवमेंट एनालिसिस एटसेट्रा टू इम्पार्ट प्रैक्टिकल इंडस्ट्रियल नॉलेज एज पर योर स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स वाया टेलर मेड ट्रेनिंग सेशंस फॉर योर कलीग्स एम्प्लॉज एंड स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन नॉलेज गैलेक्सी ट्वेंटी सिक्स एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम और व्हाट्सएप मी ऑन प्लस नाइन वन डबल नाइन जीरो सेवन वन डबल फोर वन जीरो वन फॉर शेड्यूलिंग एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द सेशंस एट योर प्लेस और वाया वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग माई डियर फ्रेंड्स Now a days technology has improved so much that physical distance actual physical distance doesn't matter anymore you can get all your doubts cleared by sitting at your home at your comfort zone just by contacting me on contacting me over whatsapp or phone so that for your benefit please do contact me for any of your doubts my dear friends I have made so many videos which are available on my YouTube channel so I request you to visit my channel regularly and repeatedly and watch all the videos available there so that you can gain maximum knowledge about the subject and topics and also request you to watch all my videos from start to finish so that you can gain the maximum and complete knowledge about the topic my dear friends as you know that training is costly but not to train is still costlier and when you are not having complete knowledge or don't get any information about the topic which you need to know so you can contact me if you don't find anyone who can help you to clear your doubts you do contact me as soon as possible and so right now in this video i am discussing about in this video i am going to describe about yet another very important aspect of high carbon ferrochrome production and the title of this presentation is factors affecting the reducibility of Sintered chromite pellets and chromite lumpy ore. As you all know that the reduction process is very much important, and the reducibility of sintered chromite pellets and chromite lumpy ore impacts the overall production process of high carbon ferrochrome. So it is very important to know about the factors which affect the reducibility. of sintered chromite pellets and chromite lumpy ores so before we proceed in this video i would like to all of you to go through the next video on the next slide and observe the message given in that video
As you have seen and observed in the video that no water can be filled in the pot if the pot is not aseptic and also if the pot is already filled. The water can only be filled when there is some space in the pot. So, my dear friends, I request you to keep your minds open for receiving the information so that you can receive the information correctly and gain the knowledge but if you feel that you are already having much knowledge or more knowledge or if you are not receptive towards receiving the new knowledge or information you cannot gain anything so for gaining new knowledge and information please keep your mind open and be receptive for the new knowledge is always my dear friend i am having one of very important announcement for you all the information which i want to share is that if you want to advertise your products services company or anything else on my channel then please please contact me on knowledgebrc26@gmail.com or whatsapp me on plus nine one double nine zero seven one double four one zero one for putting your advertisements in my forthcoming videos my dear friends as you all are aware that advertising in the youtube channels is very common and very fruitful method of approaching to the mass volume of viewers so you can contact me for putting your advertisements in my forthcoming videos i hope the messages given in the previous slides is very much clear to you all so now let's start the current presentation so to start we let's have the introduction the energy consumption and recovery of premium are important economic factors in ferrochrome production Sintered pellets have shown a superiority over lumpy ore and briquettes made of the same chromite grain. The good performance of the pellets has also resulted in investigations on the reasons for such a performance. In this study, the factors affecting pellet behavior in smelting furnaces were investigated. This study is divided into two sections that is the investigations were on the factors affecting solid state reduction and on the factors affecting reduction under melting condition These tests were performed by means of thermogravimetry and by smelting tests The correlation between the pellet characteristics and reduction behavior was shown and its influence on industrial scale furnaces was discussed. Factors worth of consideration are for instance the extent of oxidation during sintering, slag formation and chemistry in respect of molten state reduction and the grain size of the chromite mineral in the raw material in respect of kinetic reasons retention time in smelting Autokumpu OI has developed a steel belt sintering process for sintering pellets from the fine chromite concentrate smelting of these pellets results in excellent efficiency and smelting key figures the recovery of chromium depends on the grade of chromite the method of chromite pre treatment and the smelting process that is temperatures this study is divided into two sections firstly it considers the factors which affect solid state reduction that is the effect on the reducibility of the pellets above the melting zone of the submerged electric arc furnace the tests were performed by means of thermogravimetry secondly the study considers reduction under melting that is 
at higher temperatures with or without flux that is quartzite these tests were performed by means of smelting tests in an induction furnace at different temperatures with coke and quartzite however the results on the non flux charges will not be presented in this context the test series included both laboratory and pilot plant sintered pellets these were pelletized out of finnish south african indian and kazakh concentrates the series also included processed pellets from finland and south africa and ores from finland south africa india russia and madagascar the majority of the tests were made on samples which were pelletized and sintered from finnish concentrate at the otokuntu research oi the factors studied were as follows sintering temperature compressive strength degree of oxidation that is sexy q oxide content porosity example wood dust coke powder addition and dolomite addition Several additional tests were executed on foreign chromite grades in order to broaden the knowledge of the effects of CR by Fe ratio, purity, chromite grain size, that is ores versus pellets, grinding method, ball mill grinding versus pressure grinding, and oxidation degree, that is weathered ore of chromite. raw materials on reducibility so experimental work was taken as the chromite reduction test project started with the development of the reduction test methods several methods were compared the test facility included the netzek sta409 c thermal analyzer the can tv 2171 gravimetric analyzer as well as induction smelting procedures in sic or a203 crucibles the methods were carefully compared and their usability considered the can tv 2171 analyzer was selected for the solid state reduction test method because it allowed for a larger sample amount these smelting tests were first executed in sic crucibles that is silicon carbide crucibles which enabled a much faster heating rate than the alumina crucibles in the course of the project proper quality silicon carbide crucibles were no longer available they contained too much free graphite the alumina crude crucibles substituted for the silicon carbide crucibles the next phase of the study concerned the reducing agent the metallurgical coke char coke and gas coke were compared correspondingly metallurgical coke was compared with graphite comparative reduction tests were performed both on argon and carbon monoxide the metallurgical coke with a considerably low reactivity was selected as the reducing agent almost all tests were performed with the same lot of the metallurgical coke now let us discuss about the chromite sample preparation steps the chromite cases came from the laboratory and from the batch sintering tests some process pellets were included in the test series in the tv test the laboratory pellet grades based on the same batch of finnish concentrate which 
was ground to a fineness of 80% of minus 74 micrometer and was then carefully homogenized. <coughs> the factors studied were as follows: sintering temperature, compressive strength, degree of oxidation that is sesqui oxide oxide content, porosity, example wood dust, coke powder addition, and dolomite addition. The test series included six pelletizing mixture cases, which were as follows. Chemical concentrate and 1% mentonite as binder. My dear friends, just to interrupt you all, here I would like to emphasize on some special important aspect of Knowledge Galaxy. Here, specialized subject-wise coaching classes and topic-wise doubts clearing are available. I am available for all of you. to clear all your doubts and especially for diploma engineering metallurgy and mechanical students indian institute of metals that is iim part 1 and part 2 and competitive and recruitment exams for gate sale and various other government and private sector companies metallurgical industries working and aspiring professionals here i would like to emphasize that whatever queries and doubts you are having in your mind regarding any any subject or topic of metallurgy or any other ferrolized production operation maintenance so you can contact me for getting your doubts cleared i will try to provide you accurate knowledge and to the best possible extent at the very shortest period of time so that you can gain your knowledge clear all your doubts so that you can grow in your career whether it is academic career whether it is of professional career and so that you can develop and grow so to continue with here complete syllabus coverage for the students aspiring to appear in the forthcoming semester exams that is december or june i will be providing you all so please contact me on knowledge galaxy 26 at the rate gmail.com or whatsapp me on plus 9199071441 for scheduling and organizing the classes or getting informations to clear your doubts via video conferencing call or whatsapp my dear friends you might have encountered encountered that may you might have been having many of the doubts regarding process technology why they are doing why it is done how it is done so and if you don't find any answer to them and nobody is there to guide you properly so my dear friends i am here available to guide you all to make you know and grow and so that you don't have any doubts related to your process products technology syllabus and i will make sure that all of your doubts get clarified and you know the topic and subject very well and completely so again let's move on okay now let's continue new edition 1.5% c fix second 20 volume percent wood dust 2.28% and 1.5% c fix High weight percent dolomite and 1.5 percent C fix. 20 volume percent wood dust. 2.2 percent weight percent. High weight percent dolomite and 1.5 percent C fix. No addition and 0 percent C fix. And 20 volume percent wood dust that is 2.2 weight percent and high weight percent dolomite and 0 percent C fix. The sintering test included four tests on every mixture. These were 100 kb normal oxidation, second 200 kb normal oxidation, third 100 kb prolonged oxidation, and fourth 200 kb prolonged oxidation. The heating of the pellets in the sintering tests followed that of the pellets in steel bed sintering. 
the prolonged oxidation was executed by stopping the pellet cooling at 1100 degrees celsius for 16 minutes the temperatures needed for a compressive strength of 100 kPa kb respectively of 200 kPa vary depending on the pelletizing mixture <coughs> this also affected the oxidation of chromite iron this phase of the study included 24 sintering cases. Some differences in the pellet characteristics are worthy of mention. In the case of large concurrent additions of wood dust and dolomite, the sintering temperatures had to be increased by 120 to 150 degrees Celsius in order to achieve the strength target. Porosity of the pellets principally depends on the material characteristics and on the pelletizability of the mixture. The maximum temperature and thus the compressive strength as well as the oxidation have a minor effect on porosity. A simultaneous addition of dolomite and wood dust increased the porosity by 7.9 percent points in the case of 1.5% C fix. The effect of carbon additions on the porosity was 2.3% points. An addition of wood dust or dolomite increased the softening point of the sinter pellet. When simultaneously added, the softening temperature increased by 62 degrees Celsius. The oxidation degree of chromite was determined by two means that is by analyzing chemically the AP dipositive content and the, by determining the CSP oxide content by means of quantitative XRD. The CSQ of oxide content reflects the extent of deformation of the chromite lattice. The CSQ oxide content was 32.9% on average when normal oxidation was used and 42% when prolonged oxidation was used. A carbon addition of 1.5% CFIX decreased the CSQ oxide content by 8.5% points. Two examples of the chemical composition of the pellets are presented in table 1 in the coming slide. So this is the table 1 which gives chemical composition of the sintered pellets of the laboratory test series. You can pause the video and observe the contents of the table. The expected tests included several sintered pellet grids prepared in the batch sintering test series. The composition of these pellets as well as the composition of two process pellet grids and five chromite lumpy ore samples are presented in table 2 in the coming slide. The size of the pellets was 12 mm. The ore was crushed to a size of 10 to 25 mm. The coke for the TG test was crushed and screened to a size of 0.074 to 0.149 mm and the coke for the smelting test to a drain size of 2.5 to 5.0 mm. Quartzite was crushed and screened to a grain size of 2.5 to 5.0 mm. So this is the table 2 which shows the chemical composition of the batch, sinking and process pellets and the ore. You can pause the video and observe the contents of the table. Now let us discuss about the test procedures. First, let us discuss about TG tests. The reduction tests were 
carry it out with a calm TG-2071 thermal balance. The test was implemented with a single pallet to ensure a constant temperature across the pallet and good contact between cook and pallet. The inner diameter of the furnace tube is 32 mm. The size of the test crucible is 50 by 6 inch dia, that is 19.9 mm into height is 27.5, oblique 29.3 mm. This enables the study of one pallet, usually of 2.5 to 3 gram of dia 12 mm or a lump of oil in a coke powder batch of 2.4 gram. The tests were carried out either in pure argon that is 99.97% pure argon or in pure CO that is carbon monoxide 99.7% pure. The maximum temperature was 1600 degrees Celsius and in some cases 1500 degrees Celsius temperature was incorporated for the carbon monoxide phase. In each test, one chromite pellet was embedded in coke powder that is 0.074 to 0.149 mm in lamp size. The coke was carefully homogenized before the test. The pellet plus coke batch with the crucible was put in the furnace. The furnace chamber was flushed with pure argon for 20 minutes. Then the sample was heated in pure argon to 1000 degrees Celsius at a heating rate of 10 degrees Celsius per minute and then to the maximum temperature at a rate of 5 degrees Celsius per minute. The retention time at the maximum temperature was 180 minutes still in pure argon. The maximum temperature was 1600 degrees Celsius. In the case of CO, CO was substituted for argon at 1000 degrees Celsius. CO flow continued till the end of the retention time that is 180 minutes at 1600 degrees Celsius. The sample was cooled to 800 degrees Celsius at a rate of 5 degrees Celsius per minute and further to 25 degrees Celsius at a slightly slower rate, the capacity of the cooling fan was limited in pure argon. After cooling, the sample with the crucible was weighed. The cook and the pellet were also weighed separately. The pellets were also photographed. In addition, samples were prepared for chemical analysis. The need for background test was proved in the previous test series. In the background test with aluminum oxide preceding the reduction test, the weight loss of the coats exceeded to a great extent the loss of ignition determined in the chemical analysis of the coke at 1000 degrees Celsius. The reason for high ignition losses is the reaction of coke carbon with the ash components of coke. In order to study the reasons, equilibrium composition calculations with HSC chemistry 5.11 X-ray analysis of the coke sample and a brief EDS analysis of a sample were performed. The investigation proved the formation of single carbide Al2CO, SiO gas, silicides and carbides, the formation of which also results in the formation of CO gas and in a decrease in weight. Chemical analysis of the course showed an increase in the carbon content by 1.9% points in the case of metallurgical coke 
and 6.2 to 7.2 percent points in case of char and gas flows. <coughs> this large and increase means that the ash content of the coke has been reduced considerably and also that coke remains effective towards the end of reduction. The reduction rate that is dm by dt decreased only slowly towards the end of the test. With the implementation of the background test, the weight loss of these reactions could be calculated apart from the total weight loss. The remaining weight loss corresponding to the losses due to bromine reduction. In the background test, an amount of 2.4 gram of crushed A2O3 was heated in a coke powder bed of 2.4 gram using the normal reduction test procedures. A separate background test was carried out for each maximum temperature case. Now let us discuss about the smelting tests. The smelting tests were executed with the presence of quartzite. No other fluxes were used. The charges were calculated with the following assumptions. Chromium, iron and nickel recoveries 100%, metal composition 7% carbon, 3% silicon, trash elements 1%, slag melting point 60-50 degrees Celsius and coke carbon efficiency 95%. In the reduction test, the pellets, coke and quartzite were mixed well and put into the reduction furnace in an A2O3 crucible. <coughs> the crucible was covered with a lid made of brick. The charge was heated during 120 minutes to the maximum temperature of 16-15 degrees Celsius at which the retention time was 30 minutes. After cooling, the sample with the crucible was weighed and the loss of emission of the charge was calculated. After the test, samples of slag were taken for chemical analysis for chromium total, iron total, chromium metallic and iron metallic and SEM or EDS. Samples of metal were taken for the analysis of chromium, iron, carbon, silicon and sulfur. With the presence of quartzite, the reduction resulted in the formation of a larger metal lump and some metal droplets in the slag. Both were weighed and the recovery of metal was calculated. Before proceeding, if you like my content and have not subscribed to my channel till now, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can get watch all the videos available in my channel list and also press this bell icon so that you can get the notification of new videos promptly and don't miss anything. In case you want to thank me and support me so that I can get further motivation to do better in future, you can just simply send me this special thanks, super thanks by selecting any of this amount of your choice, whatever you feel like suitable to you, you can just buy this and send to me. This will help me to do further better. You can select any of the payment methods of your choice and then send me. This will motivate me to do further better in future. Thank you. Now let's again proceed and have a discussion about definition of the reduction degree that is RD. In TG tests, the reduction degree was calculated as a degree of metallization and N as oxygen removal. I again repeat, in PG tests, 
The reduction degree was calculated as a degree of neutralization and as oxygen removal. The degree of neutralization was calculated as a ratio of chromium metallic plus iron metallic divided by chromium total plus iron total. Oxygen removal means the ratio of the corrected weight loss in the test relative to the total oxygen content of chromium and iron oxides. The weight loss was corrected taking into consideration the decompositions in ore and the reaction of coke carbon with the coke ash according to the background tests. The oxygen removal may exceed 100% due to heavy SiO gas and Mg gas reduction. Reduction of the gang minerals, the amount of which could not be studied by background tests. In most of the old cases, the samples melted in the course of reduction at 1600 degrees Celsius, resulting in an increase in SiO gas formation. <coughs> Now let us discuss about smelting tests. The reduction degree was defined as metal recovery relative to the theoretical maximum content of chromium and iron. The large metal lump and the metal droplets separated from the slag were weighed and analyzed. The metal amount was corrected to a metal composition of 7% carbon and 3% silicon, which was the composition assumption of the charge calculations. Now, let us discuss about the results and discussions. Thermogravimetric analysis. The research work started with the investigation of the factors affecting the reduction of silver pallets. First, the effects of pallet characteristics were studied. Only chemical concentrate was used as the raw material of the pallets in order to exclude the effect of chemical composition except that of a dolomite addition. Most of the tests were carried out in an argon atmosphere with a maximum temperature of 1600 degrees Celsius. In some cases, the surface of the pallet deactivated with the result of a delayed or totally suspended reduction. In these cases, tests were also performed in CO that is carbon monoxide at 1600 degrees Celsius or in CO at 1500 degrees Celsius. The thermo analysis gives the weight loss of the test sample in the course of heating or cooling. This data was presented as a rate of weight loss which is a more informative way of presentation. The chromite pallet reduction starts as a reaction of Fe3 positive then leads to Fe di positive about 890 degrees Celsius. The presence of carbon monoxide has no significant effect on the starting temperature because reaction C plus CO2 this gives 2 CO is not very really fast at this stage. The DM by BT peak temperature is about 1010 degrees Celsius. Since the ferric iron is reduced, DM by BT slows down to nil. In the case of pallets, the ferrous iron reduction restarts approximately at 1195 degrees Celsius in argon and at 1125 degrees Celsius in carbon monoxide. In the case of ores, reduction restarts at higher temperatures that is approximately at 
1270 degree celsius in argon and 1235 degree celsius in carbon monoxide the principal reduction achieves the maximum peak that is peak 3 which is shown in the next slide in this graph just before or as the maximum temperature 1600 degree celsius is reached figure 1 represents three typical pellet cases which is shown in the coming slides the reduction of a pellet may proceed quickly to a high degree of metallization without the formation of a passive surface layer as shown in figure 1a the reduction may also be delayed for a while and restart later as shown in figure 1b the passivation of the surface may also be final at this maximum temperature as shown in figure 1c the passivation is due to the formation of a dense layer on the surface of the pellet this layer may consist of metal carbides or of a high melting slag rich in spinel in most of the cases substituting carbon monoxide for argon does not prevent surface passivation so these are the all three pictures we all three graphs which i have just explained and this is the figure one which shows three different types of rate reduction that is dm by dt curves i have just explained all this this is figure one figure two and this is figure three okay now let's proceed the test on six pelletizing mixtures and 24 sampling cases gave several interesting findings an addition of wood dust increases the carbon content and the ap diposity of the ap total ratio of the sintered pellets wood dust increased rd that is reduction degree when no dolomite was used prolonged oxidation decreased the reduction degree rd considerably in the case of weak pellets but seems to have less effect in the case of strong pellets as an average of the cases of strong and weak pellets prolonged oxidation decreased reduction degree of non flux pellets by 7 percent points and that of dolomite flux pellets by 16 percent points dolomite addition decreased reduction degree by 13 percent points of normal oxidation and 22 percent points in prolonged oxidation omission of the carbon addition increased the sesquio oxide content in the reduction test omission of carbon in sintering decreased the reduction degree by 5.8 percent points when no dolomite was used and by 22.1 percent points with the addition of dolomite leaving out the carbon addition has disastrous effects on the reducibility in the case of dolomite plus pellets if dolomite is being used to increase the basicity of the chromite pellets the addition of carbon should be considerably larger than in the case of with no dolomite dolomite impairs the reduction degree but the effect may be different at higher temperatures due to the higher softening temperature that is t 5% of the dolomite containing pellets in the case of dolomite flushed pellets the high softening temperature results in poor metal nucleation on to the surface of the pellet the test showed that porosity does not have 
as large an effect on the reduction degree of chromite pellets as is supposed. The softening point of the silicon pellets may have effect on the reduction degree by changing the reduction mechanism that is a decrease in the softening point possibly increases reduction via the liquid state. If so, the maximum temperature applied that is 1600 degrees Celsius may give too poor an impression of the effects of boromine on the reducibility of chromite. One important characteristic of the chromite raw material is the refractoriness of the material. The raw material should stay unmelted to high temperatures close to the electrode tips where the reduction is fast and mainly via the liquid state. If the softening temperature of the raw material is low, the material melts at too high a level in the burden where the temperature is too low for reduction. If in addition there is no contact with coke carbon, the partly molten chromite forms large dense aggregates that is crushed in the burden resulting in poor gas permeability in the burden in irregular electrical loads at various electrodes and possibly even in gas explosions in electrode leakages and in poor ferrochrome production. A combination of doromine or weak pellets and overoxidation that is high sesquial oxide proportion was found very hazardous from a reducibility point of view. A simultaneous addition of wood dust worsened the situation. A comparison of the six mixtures as an average of four strength and oxidation cases gave the reduction degree Rd or Pg as follows. Wood dust 1.5% suffix that is having 75.6%, no additions 1.5% suffix of 73%, no additions with 0% suffix of 67.2%, dolomite with 1.5% suffix of 64.2%, dolomite plus wood dust of 1.5% suffix and 59.4%, Dolomite plus wood dust and 0% cities, 37.3%. In the case of the uncrushed laboratory pellets, substituting carbon monoxide for argon had practically no effect on the reduction degree, that is RD, whereas in the case of dolomite plus pellets, the reduction degree increased considerably. The maximum temperature of reduction was decreased by 100 degrees Celsius to 1500 degrees Celsius and tests were repeated in carbon monoxide in the case of two laboratory pellets of which one was the grade with no flux normal oxidation SP3 <coughs> and the other the grade included dolomite fluxing and prolonged oxidation SK25. The test showed that the dolomite crushed pellet was reduced much better than the uncrushed pellet. Both of the tests were repeated. The RD of SK3 decreased from 85.9% to 37.6% and the RD of SK25 from 65.8% to 52.4%. The existence of dolomite in the pellet changes the 
temperature level at which the deactivation of the pellet surface takes place. Dolomite fluxing also retards the metal nucleation onto the pellet surface as shown in figure 2. The temperature at which deactivation may occur depends on silicate chemistry but depends very little on the softening temperature of the pellet that is T5%. A high T5% as in the case of Torino process pellets no dolomite resulted in a high reduction degree. So this is the figure 2 which shows comparison of the reduced pellets. So this one, this particular left side has, is having no additions and 1.5% C fix, normal oxidation, 226 Kb per pellet and RD was 64.7% and this right side pellet, right side part is 5% weight dolomite, 1.5% C fix, normal oxidation and 222 Kb and reduction in was 64.4%. So now let us discuss about the smelting test. The first part of the smelting test concerns smelting on the proportion of chromite lumpy ore in the smelting charge. Two series of charge mixtures were studied and these were Torino process pellets with Kelly upgraded lumpy ore and batch sintered pellets made of South African UG2C concentrate with South African chromite ore. Both of the series included tests on pellet proportions of 100%, 65% and 0%. Coke was used as a reductant and quartzite as a flux. The charges were heated over 120 minutes to a maximum temperature of 1650 degrees Celsius at which the retention time was 30 minutes. The maximum temperature of the thermocouple outside the crucible was 1770 degrees Celsius in order to prevent the damaging the thermos element. The temperature difference between this thermocouple and that in the charge mixture gave a lot of information about the state of reduction and melting, a sort of differential thermal analysis. The finish means from Finland and the South African chromites behave similarly in reduction. The South African chromites resulted in a slightly higher metal recovery than the Kenyan chromites. The principal reason is the lower CR by AP ratio of South African concentrates and ores pellets with 1.32 and ores with 1.45 CR by AP ratio compared to the Finnish ores, Finnish ones pellets with 1.62 and ores with 1.67 CR by AP ratio. An increase in the proportion of ore in the mixture impaired the metal recovery. The findings were similar in both of the cases South African versus Finnish chromites. A proportion of 30% of ore decreased the metal recovery by 2.9 percent points and a proportion of 100% by 9.7 percent points. The principal reasons are the larger size of the chromite grains in the ore and the deformed chromite lattice in the sintered pellets which are favorable for the reduction. The effect of the ore proportion can be presented by the following formulas. 
RT percentage is equal to minus 0.097 into old proportion percentage plus 79.67 percent South African chromites. Second, reduction degree percentage is equal to minus 0.096 into old proportion percentage plus 78.41 percent for Finnish chromites. Finnish means Finland. As presented previously, the Finnish palette came from the Tornu SBS plant and the South African pellets from the bad sinking tests carried out at ORC, that is Autokumpu Research Center. In the beginning of 2006, a sample of a South African SBS plant was received at ORC, ORC is Autokumpu Research Center. Smelting test on these pellets resulted in a RD of 79.1, which is almost the same as found with the batch pellets. Next, several additional tests were executed on foreign chromite grades in order to extend the knowledge of the effect of CR by FE ratio, purity, chromite grain size, ores versus pellets and grinding method that is ball mill grinding versus pressure grinding and oxidation degree means weather ore of chromite raw materials on reducibility. <coughs> the pellet grades were batch sintered out of Indian concentrates, see ball mill ground flux 6.2% SiO2, CR by FE ratio. 2.87 Indian concentrate B ball mill ground no flux only 1.6% SiO2 and CR by FE ratio of 2.72 and next Indian concentrate A pressure ground 2.4% SiO2 and 2.55 of CR by FE ratio and out of Kazakh concentrate by way ground 6.9% SiO2 and CR by FE ratio of 3.76. The data from the previous tests on Finnish and South African concentrates were included. The chromite ore grades were from Madagascar only 4.1% SiO2 and having CR by FE ratio of 3.78. India 7.8% SiO2 and CR by FE ratio of 1.84 and from Russia 11.5% SiO2 and CR by FE ratio of 3.22. The chromite materials could be categorized into six groups according to their behavior in heating. Smelting and reduction retards heating. These phenomena, phenomena may take place in a different order or simultaneously. When simultaneous, the effect on heating is the greatest. A late surge of energy consumption usually indicates to difficult slag formation due to a low gang mineral content or due to the refractoriness of the gang mineral and may also indicate snow reduction. The preceding groups rank from fast to slow slag formation or reduction were as follows. First, Finnish and South African ores, next Russian and Madagascar ores, next Finnish and South African pellets, next came Indian, Sea and Kazakh concentrate pellets, next Indian ores and Indian B that is very pure and Indian A pressure ground concentrate pellets. These groups are compared in figure 3 which is shown in the next slide. The difference between the first and last group in regard to the maximum temperature difference 
range was more than 30 million. However, please note that the industrial process temperatures vary from case to case, enabling good smelting results. Also, in the case of chromite with a high CR by AP ratio and MGO content. So, this is the figure 3 which I have just explained all the things. Time of maximum T outside and T charge. That is the time of maximum energy consumption comparison of chromite types. You can pause the video and observe these graphs. The reduction test showed that a reasonable reduction degree can also be achieved in the case of high CR by AP ratio through my raw materials at 1650 degrees Celsius if the gang mineral type is chemically favorable for slag formation. <coughs> A combination of a high CR by AP ratio and a low, very low SiO2 content is most often disadvantageous for reduction at too low temperatures. <coughs> Sintering of the chromite concentrate seems to improve reducibility also in the case of high CR by AP ratio chromite concentrates. Pressure grinding that is a larger grain size seems to be unfavorable for reduction in the case of a high CR by AP chromite. Regardless of high reduction degrees in some ore cases, the large grain size of ores also affects the amount of residual primary chromite grains in the ferrochrome slab. The surface of the large chromite grains is totally reduced, but the core of the same grains is practically unaltered and unreduced. This results in decreased chromium recovery in the industrial smelting process. Now we are we have achieved to the conclusions. We have reached the conclusions. So now let us discuss the conclusions. The recovery of chromium depends on the grade of chromite, the method of chromite, pre-treatment and the smelting process that is temperatures. An extensive study on the factors affecting chromite reduction was executed. The first section of the study considered the factors which affect solid state reduction that is the effect on the reducibility of the pellets above the melting zone of the submerged electric arc furnace. The second section of the study considered reduction under melting that is at higher temperatures with flux that is quartzite. Pellet characteristics have quite a significant effect on the reducibility of chromite pellets. <clears throat> the following conclusions were drawn from the observations of solid state reduction tests. The porosity does not have as large an effect on the reduction degree of chromite pellets as supposed. However, a large addition of wood dust increased porosity and reduction degree but also increased the amount of carbon added as well as lowering the oxidation degree of iron. Leaving out the carbon addition in the palletizing mixture impairs reduction. The effects on reducibility are particularly bad in the case of dolomite plus pellets. Oxidizing sintering of chromite pellets improves reducibility but over oxidation may have disadvantageous effects. 
Bromide flushing of the bromide pellets affects reduction variably that is depending on the reduction temperatures. At a certain temperature, a deactivating layer forms on the surface of the pellets resulting in a halt in reduction. A combination of bromide and weak pellets and over oxidation that is high chastity oxide proportion was found very undesirable from a reducibility point of view. The chromite characteristics, example chemical composition, chromite mineral grain size and pre-oxidation of chromite that is C3 also affect the reduction under melting. <coughs> the following conclusions were drawn from the smelting test observations. The Finnish and the South African chromites behave similarly in reduction. An increase in the proportion of ore in the mixture impaired the metal recovery. The difference in the metal recovery between a 100% of pellets and a 100% of ore charge was close to 10% units. The reduction tests show that a reasonable reduction degree can also be achieved in the case of high CR by AP ratio chromite raw materials even at 1650 degrees Celsius if the gang mineral type is chemically favorable for the slag formation. A combination of a high CR by AP ratio and a very low silica content is most often disadvantageous for reduction at too low temperatures. Sintering of chromite concentrate seems to improve reducibility also in the case of high CR by AP chromite concentrates. I am providing you all the information free of cost which are available in my YouTube channel. So do help me by watching all my videos, do subscribe my channel, regularly visit and repeatedly visit my channel, do watch all my videos, contents, like the content, share with your friends and so that I also get motivated from each one of you as you subscribe to my channel. I am very much thankful to all my subscribers who believe in me, have subscribed my channel and like my content. So to motivate me further, please do subscribe my channel, increase the subscriber count, share with your friends so that others can also gain the knowledge and my dear friends, all if you subscribe my channel, this will motivate me to do further better. So, I hope you like the content and found the video worth. So, again request you to please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. Also remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the new videos promptly. My dear friends, here if you want to advertise about your product, services or company or anything else for gaining popularity in my channel, so you can contact me so that I can put your content for advertisement in my videos, forthcoming videos. So it will be a good platform to advertise. So do contact me as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and I am very much again thankful to all of you who help me, who believe in me and please do visit my channel regularly and repeatedly. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video. Thank you.